Hello and welcome. No, <laughs> how you doing? B Styles and welcome back to the Cornerstone Live. Um, I'm in the living room with my girl, Coach La. Coach La is back in the building with and B Styles. And sitting next to Coach La is the man of the hour who has re energized and brought the NAACP in Boston back up on its feet. Yes. Is my man, Michael Curry. Thank Michael you. Curry, welcome you. to the Glad Cornerstone. Here, you know, um, so. What's been going on? What's the first few months been like? Yeah, it's been crazy, man. You know, it's, it's, it's always called like boiling the ocean. You know, there's so many issues and everybody wants you on every front line, fighting every <laughs> battle. But, you know, it's a blessing because it puts me and our organization in a position to make a difference. So it's been busy, but I look at that as a blessing. Okay, okay. And I know that you all also have like, you know, a lot of different committees things like that. Yeah. Um, one of the things that's really close to me is education. Right. So how is the education committee doing and are you still looking for people to become a part of that yeah. committee as well as members of the NAACP itself? Yeah, well, you know, I always say you, you got to get your weight up. You know, when you, <laughs> when you deal with issues, you got to get your weight up. And some issues, you just can't jump into them. You got to jump in when you got the force behind you. I always say like the Verizon commercial. When you come in the room, they got to know you got thousands of people to back you up. Right. The reality is when you look at the education issue, we're not, our kids in the public school system in many of the public schools are not getting a competitive education. When they come out, can they compete with Newton North, uh, BBNN, and all these other schools across the state, some Metco schools? Right. And our education committee is about to get out there and start dealing with the issue about education equity. Okay. So we're about to get out there, but we had to get our weight up first. Oh, no, no, I, I hear that. You know, and that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah. You know, but it would be nice to see some people down there at the school committee meetings testifying and right. getting things Absolutely. that, that things yeah. done for our young people yeah. the way that they need to be done. Yeah. Coach La, yeah. Yeah, so I am excited about the new location. Good. I think that's a power move <laughs> that I was just really excited about. So tell the people a little bit about what prompted you guys to come right in the heart of Roxbury like yeah. that. Well, it's funny that you say that because we've had an office in that mall for years. The problem was is that we were in the cut. You, gotta, you had to make an appointment to come through. It was never staffed. So we made it a commitment when we took the leadership organization. We said, yo, people need to see you. They need to be able to walk in, fill out a discrimination complaint, take out a membership, whatever. So we asked the mall. We said we need a more visible space. Um, they gave us the space. It was Deval Patrick's old campaign office. Mm -hmm. Then we got a construction company to step up and say, we'll give you forty, fifty thousand dollars worth of free construction and we'll build a spot for you. So the space is wonderful. As of today, and this is actually the exciting news, we got 20 kids working out of that office now every day um, doing voter registration, uh, health disparities education. Um, they're going to be doing eco an economic impact study. And these are young kids. These are 14 to like 21. Um, that's what the NAACP could do and should have been doing, but it took us a little while to get there. Okay, so I, I mean, apparently you have the young people working, so you all are in a grooming process, right. more or less, so that, you know, they come in now, yeah. start to see how things roll so that we yeah, don't end yeah. up in a situation like That's we right. did a few years ago, right. Right. <laughs> you right. know, where we have to re-energize something. Yeah. And right. part of that conversation was we sat in a circle and we had a conversation about what race is what racism is, all of that. And I think that was the first part of that conversation. And our young people benefited from that. Okay, okay. We have a couple of minutes left here. I see you guys have a Freedom Fund dinner coming up. Yep. Uh, you want to tell the people a little bit about that? You know, what's yeah. it about, yeah. where it's going to be, and all those things like that. So every NAACP in the country has a Freedom Fund dinner to raise money. Uh, it is really the only fundraiser for most NAACP branches. We have other events, but this is the major event for the year. So we come together and we honor local leaders. Uh, and of course the tickets are pretty pricey, but it's all going towards the, the, the movement right. uh, that is civil rights, that is the NAACP. So uh, we're honoring Louis Elisa, who was okay. president during the 80s and did uh, the housing suit against the Boston Housing mm -hmm. Authority. We're honoring Joe Feaster, who was president during the whole Carson Beach incident okay. and the race, racial tension in Carson Beach. Uh, we're honoring Deb Enos at Neighborhood Health Plan, who has one of the most diverse companies in the city, uh, and she employ, employs black and brown people in the leadership position. So those are just a few of the people we're honoring, and we're looking forward to paying tribute to them, 
uh, having a great dinner and enjoying some great entertainment. Okay, and where is it going to be and what's the date? Weston Copley Hotel on September 15th. Uh, we get started around 5.30 and we end up about 9.30. And then under our administration, we do a little partying afterwards. The old administration didn't do party. <laughs> we believe we work so hard, we should be able to do our thing afterwards. So we're going to have, and it draws in a younger crowd. So after that, we're going to get together and uh, we may even have some live entertainment. Last year we had Raheem. Devon, okay. uh, and we may try to snatch up a, a nice quality act to come and perform this year. Okay, well, I thank you for coming out and joining us on the Cornerstone Live this evening. Thank you. Um, it's been a pleasure, and we look forward to hearing from, all, from you and all the good work that you're doing. And if you don't have anything to do on September 15th, you make your way down to the Western Copley and support the NAACP.